Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the master of martyrs and peace be upon you adorers. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. Millions of pilgrims in Holy Najaf celebrate the Mabath. Canadian Chargé d'Affaires to Iraq states Imam Ali Holy Shrine is an important place for the Shiite sect and all other sects. A Saudi soldier puts his shoes on the wall of the Holy Kaaba. Millions of Muslims have poured into the holy city of Najaf to celebrate the occasion of Mabath for the appointment of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny, to the prophetic mission inside the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali. An official from Imam Ali Holy Shrine said that the Holy Shrine welcomed millions of pilgrims from inside Iraq and abroad, pointing out that numerous cultural and service programs were prepared for this occasion. He added that vehicles belonging to the Holy Shrine were allocated to transport the pilgrims back and forth from the checkpoints to the Holy Shrine. Canadian Chargé d'Affaires to Iraq, Ms. Stephanie Duheim, has visited the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, which is the first visit for a Canadian diplomat to the Holy Shrines in Iraq. Ms. Duheim stressed that it is her first time to visit such a great place, which is an important place not only for the Shiite sect, but for all the Islamic sects. She mentioned that she experienced special feelings, especially within such spiritual atmospheres and the greatness of the place. Ms. Duheim asserted the importance of investment in Iraq, particularly in the field of religious tourism, adding that there is a big Shiite Muslim community coming to Iraq annually to visit the Holy Shrines. A member of the preparatory committee of the 10th annual International Rabi'a Shahada Festival said that the technical and engineering staffs of the Holy Shrines of Imam Hussein and al-Abbas, peace be upon them, are working on preparing the area to hold Karbala's 10th International Book Fair, which will kick off on the 3rd of Sha'ban with the participation of more than 180 publishing houses. He added that a large area of Al-Aqila courtyard is allocated for the book fair. It is to mention that Karbala's book fair is one of the activities of the 10th annual International Arabi al-Shahada Festival, which is held and funded entirely by the General Secretariats of Ma Hussein and Abbas Holy Shrines to mark the blessed birthdays of Ma Hussein and his brother Al-Abbas, peace be upon them. Iraqi police sources said that 10 civilians were killed and 20 others injured after an explosion in Georgia, central Baghdad. A suicide bomber wearing an explosive belt blew himself up in Sad Husseiniyah and the Georgia market, one of Baghdad's most crowded markets. A recent picture showed a Saudi soldier leaning on the wall of Kaaba and putting his shoes on it that stirred the anger of millions of Muslims for the ongoing Saudi assaults to the holy shrines and tombs. People in Yemen's northern city of Amran have retaken the control of a strategic area following fierce clashes with armed Takfiri militants. According to reports, Amran residents seized the strategic mountain of Jannat after pushing the militants out of the region. Meanwhile, clashes continue between Houthi Shiite fighters and Takfiri militants, as well as the armored 310 Brigade in Amran, despite a government call for ceasefire. Last week, more than two dozen people, including 14 Houthi Shiite fighters, were killed in similar clashes in Amran's suburbs. Terrorists blew up two car bombs in Homs, killing 10 citizens, mostly Shiite people, and wounding some 42 others. A news source in Homs reported that terrorists blew up a car they parked near a garage in Al-Zahra Shiite neighborhood, killing 10 citizens and wounding another 30. Meanwhile, 12 citizens were injured when a car bomb went off under the Homs refinery bridge on the way between Homs and Tartus provinces. The explosion inflicted material damage in the area and caused a one meter deep crater. Muslims in different cities of Thailand celebrate the occasion of Mabath, or the appointment of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him to the prophetic mission. New sources said that various ceremonies were held in mosques and Husseiniyas in different parts of the country to mark this blessed occasion. The sources added that Muslims marked the auspicious occasion with eulogies, supplications, and other programs. About 30 mosques and Husseiniyas in Bangkok and southern cities of the country marked this blessed occasion.
we have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Ma'al Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.